right. So come to your comfortable seated position. And just sit here, sit here and check in. Start to notice what's going on. Just what's going on in your body. How are you feeling physically, emotionally? Just gonna check in without judgment. Don't judge, don't. This is an opportunity just to check in and see what's going on. All right, now we'll just start to check it out with our breath. So we'll start to follow the breath in and out. Just notice the breath as it comes in and out. Watch the breath come in through the nose. Watch it as it travels over the vocal cords, fills the chest, fills the belly. And then watch it again as you exhale. So feel the breath traveling up and out. Now as you exhale, Let's take another breath in. And as you exhale, feel the abdominals engage. Feel it here. You can almost feel the abs contracting, drawing your navel in and really engaging on your exhalations. And we do that a lot in here. We talk about that a lot. And then just inhale again and relax that. And then exhale. Pull it all in. Feel even down here below the belly button, engaging your core. Inhale. Exhale. Draw the navel in and up. And let's take our hands outside of our ears. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, bring your palms together. Collect your thoughts. Thumbs will come right between your eyebrows. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, bring your fingers, your thumbs to your heart center. And let's do that again. Inhale here, hands outside your ears. Exhale, collect your thoughts. Quiet the mind. Inhale. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. And one more time, hands behind your ears, inhale, exhale. Inhale, and then exhale, offer your thoughts to your heart. And just stay here for a breath or two. So we're just using a visual and physical way to really kind of slow down all that chatter that's in our head, that's floating around 60,000 thoughts a day, swirling around in our head. Just trying to quiet that down. All right, just bring your hands back onto your knees. And let's find our strap. All right. So let's take the strap. You might want to fold it in half, just depending on the length of your strap. And we're going to reach the arms out in front. So your wrists will be right in line with your shoulders. Now take the shoulders down and away from your ears. So we don't want to be hunched up like this. We want to lift the chest and take the shoulders down. And we're going to pull to the right and pull to the left. And just do that for a couple of breaths. Just stay right here. Just gonna pull to the right, pull to the left. Lift the chest. So just feel that. And now you, as you breathe here, just like before, we're gonna inhale and then exhale, engage the core. 
Now keeping the breath work going, we're gonna inhale and then exhale, bring the arms up. So right now they're still just in line with our shoulders. We're still pulling to the right and pulling to the left. Inhale, exhale, draw the navel in and up as you pull to the right and pull to the left. And then slowly bring your hands back down and just sit up nice and tall. All right, let's take the hands a little wider on the strap and we'll bring them back up and then we'll bring them behind. And just go, in, go where you wanna go here. We're gonna just do circles with the, the shoulders. So just go up and over at your own pace. Here's my assistant, Lily. <laughs> And then we'll add the figure eight. So you can take the right hand behind and the left hand in front. I can't bring Lily over to the club with me or the Y. She will have to stay here when we go back live. And then left behind, right in front, left behind, right in front. And then just go ahead and Bring that back. Let's put the strap aside and let's come on to our backs. So you can um, always put a blanket underneath your head. Keep your strap nearby. And then we're going to lie down. And if you do have a blanket, you want the blanket. Oh, oh hi, Molly. Jeez. I, I just hit her. Here, baby. There. There's Molly. That's not one, it's the other, right? Okay. Let's <laughs> just wander around. All right. So from here, lying down, we'll take our legs nice and long to the edge of our mat. And then we'll reach our arms to the top of our mat. We'll lift the chest here. So can you get the shoulders underneath your chest. You can hook your thumbs together. And then we're going to inhale. And as we exhale, we're going to take our heels, press the heels to the edge of your mat and draw your fingertips to the top of your mat, really reaching and lengthening through the side body. Now inhale, just let all that go. Switch the grip of your thumb. Inhale. Exhale, press and reach. Now, as you exhale, you're still drawing the navel in and up. You're still engaging your abdominals and feeling the whole side body lengthen. And then inhale and just relax that. Switch the grip. Inhale again. Exhale, press and reach. Inhale, relax, switch your grip. Exhale, press and reach. And one more time. Inhale, switch your grip. Exhale, press and reach. And then just bring your hands down by your sides. <laughs> okay. Let's hug the right knee up. Keep the left leg long. And we're gonna take the left hand on the right knee and take it over to the left. For a twist, you can extend the right arm out. Pick up your left shoulder, get the right shoulder down. We're inhaling, pressing through the left heel, getting that left leg nice and long, and then exhale, twist. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. One more time. Inhale, exhale, and deep twist. And then bring your knee up and take that leg long. All right, Molly, you're gonna stay here. Inhale, left knee up, left arm comes out. <laughs> okay. And then twist over to the right. Oh, inhale, lengthen. I think it's because I'm on the floor. Exhale, twist. So that I think the pets like it when you're on the floor, right? Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. And one more time. Inhale, press your right heel long, and then exhale, nice deep twist. 
And then bring your knee up and take your leg long. And then we're gonna go with our breath. One breath, one movement. Inhale the right knee up, exhale, twist. Inhale, bring it up, use your core. Exhale, release. Inhale, left knee up, exhale, twist. Inhale, bring it up, exhale, release. And one more time, inhale, right knee up, exhale, twist. Inhale, bring the knee up, exhale, release. Inhale, left knee up, exhale, twist. Inhale, knee up, exhale, float your foot and place it down. All right, now let's take the right knee back up, clasp around your right shin. Take your left leg long. And then if you have any trouble, I know we've been doing this for a while and you guys have all been, you can always use your strap here if you need to, to place around your shin. We're gonna take the left knee, left leg long, and then we're gonna take our forehead toward our knee as we press away with our left heel. Hug it in. Draw your navel in and up on your exhalations, and then release. Other side, left knee comes up, forehead to your knee, press away with your right heel. And then inhale and release. Lily, no, come here. Sorry, keep going, hold up. I just don't wanna pull this thing down. Lily, what are you doing? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oh my God, all right, no. Oh, jeez. <laughs> we'll go with our breath. One breath, one movement. Inhale, right knee up. Bring your forehead to your knee. Exhale, release. Actually, that's not right. Exhale, bring your right knee up. Forehead to your knee. She got me all messed up. Inhale, release. Exhale, left knee comes up. Hug it in. Inhale, release. <laughs> Exhale, right knee up. Inhale, release. And exhale, left knee up. And inhale and release. And just stay here for a breath. All right, now we're gonna bring both knees up. And then we're gonna take our forehead to our knee. And if that is tough for your neck, you can just stay down. Otherwise we're here. All right, we're gonna hug it in. And as we inhale, we're gonna extend the legs and reach the arms overhead. And as you extend your legs, let them hover and then place them down. So we're gonna work the core a little bit. Now, an option is if you can hug them in and you can just touch your toes down and reach the arms overhead. Or you can just keep your hands by your hips. We're gonna hug them in and down or in and down. Okay, so let's hug them in. Take your forehead to your knees. So lots of options here. And then as we exhale, we're gonna extend and reach the arms overhead, lower the legs and then place them down. Breathe in here. Exhale, hug it in. Inhale with control. So you're gonna feel the core working. Exhale, hug it in. Inhale, release. We'll do that two more times. You're gonna feel your core working here. We're warming it up. Exhale, hug everything in. Inhale, extend and reach. And one more time, exhale, hug it in. And then inhale, release. God. What are you guys doing this morning? Go lay down, Molly, please. Go to your place. Go on, go to your place. All right, let's um let's get our strap. Molly, you really do have to go to your place. Okay. Go right over there. Go lay down. Okay. Molly, go lay down, please. Let's take the strap. We're gonna take it around the right heel. Extend the left leg long. Now you want your heel above your hip or maybe even a little bit farther out. You want your legs straight, lift your chest so the shoulders lock down into your mat, elbows are straight. 
and then extend, extend the left leg. So your left pinky toe is rotating up toward your ceiling. And the inner thigh, the inner right thigh, the inner right knee is rotating down towards your mat. And we're gonna take the right thigh bone away from our chin, the right hip away from our chin, and then lift the chest. Just hold it here. Inhale, exhale. Engage in your abdominals as you exhale. Pressing that right thigh bone away, pulling down on your strap, pressing your heel into your strap. And then bend your knee, release. We'll set up for the other side. So take the strap around your left heel, extend your right leg long. Pull down on the strap. Press into the strap, take the left thigh bone, the left hip away from your head. Take the shoulders down into your mat, lift your chest. Take your right pinky toe up and your right inner knee down. And hold it here. And then go ahead, bend your knee and release. Now let's go back to the right side. Take the strap back around your right heel. Now take both ends of the strap over to your left hand. Take your left leg long, just like before, we still want the in, internal rotation. So we've got the inner left knee rotating down. And then we're gonna take our right thumb into our right hip crease and push the right thigh bone away. So now we're really helping it push away. We were doing it isometrically before. Now we've got the thumb there to really push it away. Lift the chest, take a breath in. And as you exhale, take your right heel over in line with your left shoulder. So we're still pushing that right thigh bone away, creating traction in the hip. And then that left pinky toe is still pointing up. Inhale, lengthen with that left leg. Exhale, draw the navel in and up. Lift the chest. Inhale here. And as you exhale, use your core, bring the leg back up nice and slow, bend the knee, extend that leg long. And we'll switch sides, back over to the left. Left thumb into your left hip crease. We're pushing that left thigh bone away. Both ends of strap into the right hand. Lift the chest. Lock that right shoulder down to get your chest lifted. And then the right pinky toe points up. So when you do that, hopefully that right knee, the right inner thigh draws down toward the mat. And then we're gonna inhale. And as we exhale, take that left heel over in line with our right shoulder. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. Exhale, push that left thigh bone away. And then inhale here. And as you exhale, bring the leg up and remove the strap. Take that leg long. All right, back over to the right. So now we're gonna take both ends of the strap into our right hand. And if you want, you can put a block or a blanket right outside the right thigh. Left leg goes long, left pinky toe stay pointing up. Now take your left hand onto your left hip bone. Inhale, and then as you exhale, lower your leg out to the right. So that outer edge of your right foot is parallel to the floor. Pull that left hip down, lift your chest. Inhale, pull on your strap as you press your heel into your strap. Breathe here. Inhale. 
and exhale. Now let's take one breath in here. And as you exhale, use your core strength to lift that leg up. And remove your strap and take that leg long. Bring your support to the other side. Strap comes around the left heel. Both ends of the strap into your left hand. All right, right leg is long, right pinky toe up, right hand on your right hip bone. Lift your chest. Inhale, exhale, lower your leg out to the left. Lift your chest. Now we breathe here, we pull that right hip down. Lift the chest, pull on the strap, opening up the inner thigh. Working the adductors here. Don't let that right foot splay out. Bring that right pinky toe back up if it's kind of fallen out. I just caught mine doing that, it wants to do that. My, I think this hip is naturally open like that. So it's a focus for me. I have to remember to keep the pinky toe up. Inhale. Now exhale, use your core. Bring the leg up and then remove the strap. All right, so let's just put this all aside for right now. Strap, block, blanket. Bend your knees. And then slide the right foot over to the right. Let your right knee drop in towards your left foot. And this is where we start. So now we're gonna get some internal rotation of the, um, the right leg. So you can check in here, and then we need to get the right knee in line with our right shoulder. But put your left foot on your knee. If, if you're gonna do that, do it be, as you're adjusting, because sometimes that moves the alignment. So once you're where you're gonna be, then you check your alignment, right knee in line with your right shoulder. And then the right arm can reach overhead. You can hold on to your right wrist with your left hand. Inhale. Exhale, reach through the right fingertips and maybe even drag your left heel down your thigh. So big long line right through the quads, you're gonna do the quadriceps up into the psoas and even the upper attachment of the psoas. One more breath. And then uncross. Remove your foot if it's there. Bring your knees back up. And then recenter your hips too. Sometimes they kind of move over. We'll do the other side. So left foot will slide over and the left knee drops in towards your right foot. And then maybe take your right foot on your left thigh. Then check your alignment. Left knee aligned with your left shoulder. All right. And then left arm can extend overhead. And take a hold of your left wrist with your right hand. Inhale, exhale, maybe drag that right foot down, creating a little bit more length, lift the chest. Internal rotation of our hips. I'm just gonna notice how this feels. We do this a lot. We should really be doing this almost every day, which I know I don't. I'm not shaming anybody, because um, I'm, just, I'm just as guilty. Uh, but this is the morning series. Oh no, we did the morning series. This is the hip series. But both of these are really good to do quite frequently. But if there's only one thing you can do for your hips, if you're having some back problems, are the first two, Siddhapada Gustasana, and then with the leg extended out. Let's have a cross. And then, of course, you have all my videos, so you can jump on there. All right, so let's do external rotation now. Let the right knee drop over to the right. And then tuck that right foot behind your left heel. All right, now we're going to just kind of judge and check in from here. How does this feel? This might be enough for you, or 
You can always take your left heel in front of your right shin and let that left knee drop over to the left. So now you've got both hips in external rotation. And this might be enough for you. This might be a lot. If you feel like you can take this a little bit farther, you can take your left foot onto your right thigh and let that left knee drop out. So that's gonna put a little bit more pressure on the right, going deeper into this right hip. And then you can just stay here with your hands or reach them overhead. Lift the chest. You can always hug onto your opposite elbows if that feels okay. Whatever really, whatever you feel like doing with your arms. But you want to keep the chest lifted. We still don't want to hunch up. We don't want the shoulders up to our ears. We're going to keep that nice and open here. So maybe it's easier to have the arms overhead or even just down on your hips. One more breath in. Exhale. And then uncross. And we'll switch sides. Left knee drops over to the left. You can tuck the right foot behind your left heel. And again, just stay right here. If you just want to work on this left hip like it is, go ahead. Stay here. Or maybe take your right heel in front of your left shin. This might be enough for you. And you can always explore taking your right foot onto your left thigh if that felt kind of easy. And this might feel okay. And then play around with your arms. Maybe take your arms overhead. Oh. I think I've said this before. This, my left hip does not like external rotation. So no matter where I am in this pose, this is, this is a challenge for me. So you might notice that in your body that one, one side is a little bit more comfortable in these poses. So just do what you can do. So for me, it's better for me to just put my heel in front of my left shin because it's a lot to have my foot on, on my leg. I guess if I did this every day, it might make it better. Um, but this, yeah, so just kind of notice if this is easy for you, then you could definitely stay in double pigeon. And then let's uncross. All right, let's hug our knees in. Just hug them in. Get to hold on to your hands, maybe your elbows, or just rock from side to side. And then rock all the way over to the right side. And we'll make our way onto our hands and knees. All right. So from our hands and knees, stack your shoulders over your wrists. And our hips over our knees. Now spread your fingers wide and just pull your hands apart. Like you're trying to rip your mat in two. Like you're pulling your right hand over to the right and your left hand over to the left. And you're feeling this expansion across your shoulders. And then press that down through the tops of your feet. Draw your navel in and up. So engage your abdominals right here. All right, now keeping that action in your left hand, extend your right arm out. So you're reaching to the top of your mat. The left hand is super strong, the left arm. So we're adding on here, we're really gonna get into the abdominals, the back muscles. Just right now, we're on both knees, extending the right arm out. All right, now we're gonna extend the left leg back. Press through your heel, take the pinky toe towards your mat. So we're still getting that internal rotation. Same thing as when we were on our backs a few minutes ago. We still want that same internal rotation of the leg. We're reaching through the fingers and reaching through the heel. Hold it here. A couple more breaths. If at any time you need to put the left knee down. 
One more time, really reach through the fingers, get as long as you can, and then carefully take your hand and knee down onto your mat. All right, setting up for the other side. So super strong on the right hand, the right arm. And then we're gonna take the left arm in line with our ear. So just using your core, you're gonna start feeling it engage, fire up. So right now we're on both knees. There's a lot of work, even without that leg extended. So then we'll add the right leg. So now we're gonna extend the right leg. Pressing through your heel, press your right pinky toe toward the floor. Lengthen through the left hand, lengthen through the right heel. One more breath, really reach, draw your navel in and up, and then bring your hand and knee down. Okay. So let's take a cat cow, a couple cat cows here. Take your tailbone towards your knees, push the floor away from you. And your exhale. And then turn your tailbone toward the ceiling, broaden across your collarbones. And the belly will just naturally drop toward the mat. And then exhale back to cat. Inhale to cow. And one more time. And back to cow. All right, let's take a child's pose. Take your knees wide, take your tailbone towards your heels and extend your arms out. Let your forehead rest on your mat. Now crawl your fingers as far as you can get them without your tailbone lifting up. So you're really pressing through the tailbone and extending through your fingers, getting that length. All right, one more breath. Now slide your hands back underneath your shoulders, come back onto your hands and knees. Turn your toes under and slowly lift into down dog, keeping your knees bent. So knees are bent, take your belly to your thighs. Look at your knees, keep your neck long, spread your fingers wide. And then you can straighten your legs. Take your tailbone high. Look at your knees, broaden across the shoulders. Take your armpits in towards your ears. All right, now we're gonna shift forward to plank. So come up on your toes, shift forward, take your shoulders over your wrists. Now if you need to, you can place your knees down. All right, so we're gonna do a little bit of a flow there. All right, so wherever you are, if you're in plank, we're gonna hold it here, tailbone stays low. Otherwise, put your knees down because you're going to get the work even with your knees down if you're doing this right. All right. And then we're going to inhale, come back up to down dog. Hold it here. Maybe even pedal your feet a couple times. Now we're going to exhale, shift forward, taking our shoulders over our wrists. We're going to flow through that. Inhale, pull the navel back toward the back of your mat. Exhale, come forward to plank. One more time, inhale, pull it up. And then exhale, shift forward. And then let's pull back to down dog, stay here. And then come back onto your hands and knees, take childs. All right. So let's come back up onto our hands and knees. 
Come back into down dog. Paddle your feet a couple times. Use this as a way to really stretch through the side body. And then look towards your hands. Walk your feet and your hands toward each other. Take your hands by your hips, come all the way up. Come to standing. All right. So come to Tadasana. Keep your blocks around. We're going to need them in a sec. Lift the chest. Hands by your side. Navel draws up toward your chin. Okay. Let's step our feet wide. Turn your left toes toward the top of your mat and the right toes in and up. And you can place your block behind your left foot. Extend your arms out, lift the chest. So root down through the soles of your feet. And we're gonna inhale here. And as we exhale, reach out, we're going to take our right hand on our hip and our left hand is going to come onto our block, but use control as you come down. So we're using the core as we come down. So don't just drop into it. Three heights to the block. So you can use whatever height you want. And we want the front heel to intersect the back arch. And we take the back ribs toward the front ribs, even engaging our core here. So we stack this right shoulder over the left. And then if it feels okay, you can take your right arm up. And then again, place your feet into your mat. We take that front butt cheek toward the back heel. Open up the chest. Reach through the fingertips. And then with control, using your core, come all the way up. And we'll switch our feet to the other side. So the right toes will point forward. Left toes point in and up. And you can move your block over. Arms extend out. Lift the chest. Breath in. Now with control, reach out. Don't just drop into it. With control, find your block. Left hand can come onto your hip. Okay, and we're taking the back ribs toward the front ribs, right? We're twisting here. And your left hand can stay on your hip for right now. Let's figure out what's going on with the legs first. So we're gonna feel the feet placing into your mat. So really strong foundation, drawing up through this right leg. And then this right hip pulls back toward the back heel. And then if that feels easy, you can take your left arm up. Draw your navel in and up. One more breath. And then again, with control, using your core, come all the way up. Bring your feet in line with each other and then step them together. Take a breath. Okay. So let's go back to the other side. Turn the, we're gonna step our feet apart. Turn the left toes forward. Bring your block with you. We're gonna, now we're gonna bend into the left knee. So we're gonna take the knee in line with our ankle. But our hips and shoulders are still parallel with the long edge of our mat. And we'll take the arms out for warrior two. Float the shoulders down away from your ears. Root down through both feet. This back foot is very active. And then we're gonna reach out and take our, let's take our elbow onto our knee for the first variation of this. Take your elbow onto your knee and your right hand on your hip. So we still want the back ribs to twist toward the front ribs. And the right shoulder to stack over the left. And then we'll take this right arm up. So right now the right arm is just reaching up. 
And we've got this elbow on our knee. We can help guide that knee over toward the middle toe. And then that back heel is just isometrically kind of drawing back toward the back edge of the mat. So this leg is super active, right? We don't want to let it go. We want to draw the kneecap into the thigh. And then let's use our core strength to come up all the way up. You can leave your block there if you already have it set up there. We'll use it on the next variation. Bring your feet in line with each other. We're going to switch to the other side. So the right toes are pointing out, left toes in and up, and then we bend our front knee into a square. Arms extend out. Lift the chest. Inhale. And as we exhale, reach out. You can take your left hand on your knee, right elbow on your left hand on your hip, right elbow on your knee. And we can adjust here. Now we can help get that knee tracking over the middle toe. Take your right ribs towards your left ribs, right ribs toward the left. And then extend the left arm up. Stay here for a couple breaths. Well, I must go out. Is it sun time? Root down through both feet. And then let's use our core. Come all the way up, straighten your leg. Bring your feet in alignment with each other. And let's go back to the other side. So now the left toes are forward. This is where we use our block. So this time, take your block and bring it in front of your foot. Arms extend out, lift your chest. We're gonna bend back into the front knee for warrior two. So we want the shoulders stacked over the hips to start for warrior two. And then with control, we're going to take our left hand down to the block. And let's start with our right hand on our hip again. So there's three heights to the block. Some of you might need it a little lower. Some might need it a little higher. It just depends. Now we've got our left elbow and left knee hugging into each other. So we're creating some dynamic tension there, right? We're hugging into each other. We still want this right shoulder stacking over the left. We still want our feet rooting down, planting into our mat. So everything is active. And then just gonna trace your right hand up your side body and then extend it out over toward the top of your mat. So your right pinky fingers toward the floor and the thumb is pointing up. And we're hugging that left elbow and shoulder into each other, reaching through the fingertips of the right hand and pressing through that right heel. So there's this long line, dynamic line from the fingers through that back heel. And then you, the gaze can be up at the inside of your arm. Hold it here. Lift the chest, keep the left ribs spinning toward the front of your mat. All right, now coming out of this, let's take a breath in. And we're gonna use our core strength. Come up nice and slow. You can bring your block with you. Come up nice and slow with control. And then we'll switch sides. So we'll turn our feet to the other side. We'll put the block here. Come back into warrior two. Extend your arms out. Lift the chest. All right. So we're gonna inhale, and then with control, we're gonna find our block. Take your time, don't just drop into it. And then we're gonna hug that right shoulder and right knee in line with each other, taking our right ribs toward the left ribs. So make sure your feet are on the same plane. Then we're gonna just Slide our left hand up our side body and extend it out and over. Taking the pinky finger toward the floor, and the thumb toward the sky. Take the right ribs toward the left ribs. 
Hug the knee and the shoulder into each other and then press through the outer edge of your left foot. Extending and reaching here. And then carefully with control, you can leave your block here. Actually, no, bring your block with you. Inhale, come up. Bring your feet in alignment with each other. Step your feet together. Actually, Puya, put the block down. We'll take a breath in Tadasana before we go into the next one. Take a breath here. Feet root down through the soles of your feet. Take your shoulders back and down. Rise up through the top of your head. Okay, let's step our feet apart again. Now we'll put the block. Actually, we're just gonna have it in front of our foot. We're gonna come into warrior two. Back into warrior two. Turn the left toes out, right toes in, and then bend into your knee. Arms extend out. So we're gonna go into half moon. There's a couple options if you want some support. Now, you can use a chair as well. If you don't wanna use, I can demonstrate first. So you can use a chair first and that might be easier. We're gonna step into our front leg, put your hand on your chair, lift the right leg, and then your right hand can stay on your hip or maybe extend up. You can also use a wall. Same thing, you got a little bit more support with the wall, or you can use your block. And um, some of you, if you have the room, you can do it this way. You're gonna extend your arms out, come into your warrior two, step in, and then you've got the wall here to support you like this. <laughs> Did I bother you? Lily just right, um, growled at me. Okay. So wherever you want to do this, let's do it together. So we'll come back into warrior two. Left toes out, right toes in, bend into your front knee. We're going to start from warrior two. And then we're going to reach out. We're going to take our right hand on our hip, and we're going to find our, our support, whether it's the wall, the chair, the block. I'll start with my chair. And then we'll step into the front leg. And we're going to carefully lift the right leg. So this is where you find your balance, right? Just do what you can do. And then if you feel like you're balanced, maybe you can play around with extending your right arm. So if you're feeling wobbly, that's okay, that's normal. Especially if we haven't done this in a while, we can do this a little bit more often lately, but it's still a very challenging pose because we've got balance, we've got core, right? And there's a lot of strength in the standing leg. So let's carefully step back, come into warrior two, straighten your leg, bring your feet in alignment with each other. And then let's switch to the other side. So take your prop, wherever, whatever you're using, wall, chair, Lock and let's come into warrior two again. Lift the chest. Inhale. <laughs> Exhale. We're going to start with our left hand on our hip, right hand is going to come onto our block, and we're going to take it about six inches in front of our foot. Or if you're using your chair, it's right in front of you. Then we're going to step into that front leg and carefully <laughs> lift your left leg. And then check in here. How does this feel? If this feels easy, maybe you can extend your left arm. <clears throat> so a lot of energy through the standing leg and a lot of energy through the lifted leg. We're flexing both feet, right? We're drawing the kneecap into the thigh. We're using our core. We want this top shoulder stacked over the bottom. And then maybe you can find a different gaze. You might be able to look straight ahead, but sometimes it's easier just to look down. So play around with your gaze. And then carefully come down with control, straighten your leg, bring your feet in alignment with each other. 
step them together and just come to Tadasana for a breath and I have to let Molly back in. Take a few breaths here in Tadasana. Just check in, see how you're feeling. <sighs> okay, so we're gonna do one more standing balance. And again, we've got walls that we can use. We're gonna do tree pose. So, um, very nice, use your chair. So we'll start in Tadasana. Shoulders back and down. And then we can start with our hands at our heart center, or if you've got a chair, you can have your chair right here. Let's start, we'll turn the left knee out. The left knee out, start with a, your foot as a kickstand, maybe at your calf, or maybe you bring it up and into your inner thigh. And maybe you've got your chair right here, or the wall, you can have your hand at the wall. Once you feel you're established, maybe you can take your hands to your heart center, Check in again. If this feels easy, then you can extend your arms into the full pose. So once you're in tree, wherever you are, doesn't matter where your hands are, we really want to feel the bottom half of our body rooting down into the earth and the upper part of our body rising up to the sky. Root to rise. And then find a gaze, find something to focus on and see how you feel here. Hold it here. A couple more breaths if you can. If your foot's in your inner thigh, press your inner thigh into your foot as well. Lift the chest. Draw the navel in and up. And then with control, come on up. Place that foot down. Take a breath. All right, other side. So we'll turn the left heel out. Maybe, and you can stay right here. Right here, you've got balance going on, right? This is a little bit, I feel a little wobbly even here. So stay here if you want to. Take your foot maybe a little bit higher or maybe even a little bit higher. And then when you feel supported, feel that you're established, your stability is established. Maybe you can take your hands to your heart center, find your spot to focus on, and then maybe even take your arms up. The yoga sta karu karmani. Establish yourself in oneness, right? You find your stability first and then take action. And again, if your foot's in your inner thigh, see if you can push your inner thigh into your foot as well. And stay here for a few breaths. Keep the shoulders down, away from your ears. Don't come out, I'm gonna come out. I wanna just take a look. If you already did, that's fine. Good, yeah, a lot of inner thighs. Awesome, okay, now with control, using your core, Come on out, come back to Tadasana. And then stay here for a breath. All right, now let's do one more standing pose. Um, actually, no, I just changed my mind. Let's make our way, because I've got some things I wanna do on the, on the map. So we're gonna run out of time. So let's take a big inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, swan dive forward, and then step back to down dog. Now come on to your hands and knees. We're gonna come on to our forearms. And again, you can just stay right here, broaden across your shoulders, and stay here with your knees down. Or you can take your feet out to the edge of your mat for forearm plank. Take your tailbone towards your heels. So your tailbone is low. If you feel like your tailbone's up like this, then come onto your knees. 
you're going to get more work in the core like this than like this. So you want to feel it in the abdominals. So wherever you are here, let's hug the elbows in toward each other. Like there's a ball between our elbows, right? Pressing through the palms of the hands, taking the heels to the edge of our mat. And then come onto your hands and knees and press back to child's pose. Okay, so we're going to add on to that. So let's come back up onto our hands and knees and then back onto our forearms. So for some of you, it might be easier to interlace your fingers. I kind of like having my hands on the, on the mat. Whatever's easier for you. So let's come into forearm plank again. And this time we're going to lift into Forearm down dog, so dolphin pose. All right, taking the chest towards your thighs, look towards your knees. And then we're gonna shift forward to plank. You may need to reposition your feet just a little bit. Hold it here. Lift the hips or dolphin. And again, you might need to pull your feet in just a little bit more. And then one more time, shift forward to plank, forearm plank, hold it here. And then come on your hands and knees, take child's. Take a rest. All right, come back onto your hands and knees. And you can watch me first. We're gonna do forearm side plank. So we're gonna come onto our forearm and there's uh, lots of options. So the hand, the hand will come this way. So it'll come parallel to the top edge of your mat. And you can, so I'm on my left hand, left forearm, my left knee and my left leg is gonna kind of swing toward the edge of my mat. And I'm gonna come into side plank, okay? Option one, stay here. Maybe you can lift this top leg. Now, if you want to, you can extend both legs. Lift the bottom hip, maybe you can extend. Okay, so we'll do it together. I know you guys are all kind of getting into it already. So we'll come on to our hands and knees. I'm gonna take this right arm, I'm sorry, left arm. So the fingers are pointing toward the long edge and the arm is perpendicular to the short edge. And then we come onto our left knee. Well, let's start there. Extend your right arm, or maybe even start with your hand here on your hip. And then maybe stay here, lift this leg. There's a lot of work here on your knee. Some of you might wanna take the bottom leg out and lift the hips. And then maybe play around with that. Hold it here wherever you are. Lift that bottom hip if your feet are extended. And then come on down onto your hands and knees. Take a quick child, stretch that out. That's a hard pose. All right, come on back up. And we'll do it on the other side. So we'll have the right arm down. We'll come on our right knee. We'll start here. Left hand on our hip. And then maybe lift this left leg and the left arm. So option one, stay here or maybe keep your hand here. And if this feels kind of easy, you can extend your right leg to meet your left. A lot harder, right? But we're gonna lift, if, that's, if you're in this position, you wanna lift that bottom hip and then keep your left hand on your hip or extend it up and breathe. Couple more breaths, wherever you are. Don't be afraid to stay here. And then go ahead, come all the way down and take child's, take a breath. Oh, that got my heart rate up. All right. 
So let's make our way back up and onto our backs. Just turn around and make your way back onto your backs. All right. Take your hands underneath the, the kind of the small of your back, the top of your butt cheeks. And you're going to lift your chest. We're going to hug the knees up and then lift them up. So the hips are over our heels. Lift your chest. And then we're just going to take the feet down to about 60 degree angle right here. Hold it here. Lift the chest. Draw your navel in and up. Hold it here. Breathe. And then bring your knees back and take a breath. All right, let's take them back up. Now you can take them right where they were before or maybe lower them a little bit more. All right, lift the chest, hold it here. And if this is too much, you can put one foot down and just extend the other and then switch. So just do what you can do or just keep them up a little higher. There's lots of options here to still get the benefits of the pose. Let's take one more breath wherever you are. Hug the knees in. All right, third time. Let's take the legs up. And this time lower them maybe just here, maybe here, or maybe you could take them just so they hover over your mat. Lift the chest. There might be a little shaking going on in your body, which mine is. <laughs> Breathe here. Do what you can do. Again, you can put one foot down and then switch if this becomes a little bit too challenging. And then bring your knees in. You can hug them in with your hands. Take a breath. Okay, so we're gonna do that again. And if that was challenging for you, keep your hands where they were. If that felt somewhat easier, you think you might be able to go a little bit farther, you can reach your arms overhead. So reach if your arms are overhead or wherever they are, we wanna lift the chest. Inhale, we're gonna take the legs up to start. And then we're gonna take the legs out just slightly right now. Lift the chest. Hold it here. Two more breaths. And then you can hug it and you can bring your hands around your knees, hug it and take a breath. All right, next one. Arms under your hips or overhead. Heels over your hips, arms over your head, or underneath your hips, yeah. All right, now we're gonna go maybe halfway down. Hold it here, lift your chest. Feel the abdominals engaging. Again, if you need to just put one foot down and then switch. Two more breaths. Hug everything in. Almost there. One more. Wherever you wanna go with this one, if you wanna take it to the fullest extent, you're gonna reach your arms overhead, legs come up, and then we're gonna lower our heels so they just hover over the mat or somewhere in between. Press through your heels, reach through your fingertips, keep the chest lifted, breathe. One more, and then hug everything in. Take a breath. Okay, 
Let's come up to a seated position. And what time is it? Okay. Let we're going to begin to sit, sit this way. I'm going to sit sideways, lengthwise. I mean, on your mat. Actually, I'm going to do it this way because I want my chair. So we're going to go into boat pose, and there's a couple ways we can do it. Let's start. Let's start um, together. So let's start with our hands behind our knees. Lift the chest and then lean back. Keep the chest lifted and then pick your feet up. So right here, this is an option. You can hold on to your knees, right? Keep the chest lifted. If you want to take this a little farther, you can reach your arms out. Now, for some of you, you can kind of get that action by taking your feet up on your chair, if you'd like, and lift the chest. So a couple options. Let's do that again. Sorry, I kind of rushed through that one. So let's sit up nice and tall, hands behind your knees. We're going to lean back. So option one, stay right here. We're getting the work in the abdominals. Option two, keep the chest lifted with your feet. Option three, maybe extend your legs a little higher or rest them on your chair. You can release your arms. Or not, or you can just keep them off the chair. The chair just adds a little bit more support. Otherwise, we're here. Lift the chest. And then go ahead and place your feet down. Just hug it in. And we'll do that one more time. So wherever you want to go with that, lean back, stay here, lift your feet, release your hands, hold it. And then come back in, hug it in. Right. And we'll do one more and then we're done with the core. So let's, um, actually two more, but once that we'll go back under our backs. So get your, get your block or it can be anything, but I think you guys all have blocks by now. So we're gonna lean back just like we did with the block here, lean back just like we did for for a boat, but we're gonna keep our feet down. You can watch me first. And then we're gonna twist over and touch the block down behind our left hip. And then come up. And then twist over and touch it behind our right hip and come up. Okay, so we're just gonna flow through that. So we're gonna inhale, exhale, lean back and twist. Inhale, up, exhale, twist. Inhale, just do what you can do. Exhale, twist. So we're really twisting, but we're looking over, so we're kind of almost looking behind our hips. So we're adding that nice deep twist, working through the obliques. Inhale, exhale, twist. Couple more. Twist. And one more each side. Come up, twist to the left, and up, and twist to the right. And up. And then put your block aside. And let's make our way back onto our backs. Take your knees over your hips. Reach your arms out to the sides. Lift your chest. We're going to take our knees with control over to the right. Don't touch them all the way down, then we're gonna bring them up. And then over to the left. And up. All right, now we can add on to that. You can extend one leg, be the left leg. And we're gonna take them over to the right. And then up. And over to the left, you can switch legs, take it over to the left and up, or if you want, you can do both legs a little bit harder. Bring them over to the right, and then with your core, bring them up, and over to the left. You can just alternate extending one leg, 
and the other. And uh, let's do that a couple more times on each side. We're still one cycle through here. So one more time through over to the right and up and to the left and up and hug your knees in. And just rock from side to side. Place your feet down, take your arms out and we'll scoot our hips over to the right. Let's just take a nice twist. Take your knees over to the left. You can cross your right leg over your left if you'd like. And just kind of get a nice twist here. And bring your knees up. Let's do that on the other side. Scoot the hips to the left. Cross your left over your right. And then take your knees over to the right side. Then bring your knees up. Hug your knees in, take your right knee over your left and hug your knees in again, hug them in. And if that's easy, slide your hands down to your ankles, pull your legs apart, your ankles apart, lift your chest, take your knees slightly over to the left. And then uncross, we'll switch sides. Left knee over the right, Hug your knees in, if that's easy, slide your hands down to your ankles, pull the ankles apart, lift your chest, and uncross, and place your feet down. Take your right ankle over your left knee, and you can gently press your right leg away. Or you can pick up the left leg, slide your right hand through, so you're clasping behind your left thigh, and draw your left thigh towards your nose. Use your right elbow to gently press that right leg away. And maybe take your legs over to the left to deepen that stretch. Lift your chest. Just go where you can. Feel that nice stretch in your piriformis. So the more you go over to the left, the deeper the stretch. Bring the knees up and cross. Let's switch sides. Right foot places down. This is modification one. You can take your left ankle on your right, right thigh, your right knee, and just gently press that leg away. That's option one. Or pick up the leg, slide your hands through, clasp behind your right thigh. Use the left elbow to gently press your left leg away. And then maybe take the knees over to the right slightly. Just releasing the piriformis. Bring your knees up, uncross. Hug your knees into your chest. Take your forehead to your knees. Give yourself a big hug here. And then find Shavasana. So you may want to just take your legs long. Into tra traditional Shavasana. Bend your knees, touch your knees together. That's an option. Roll up a blanket, place it underneath your knees, or put some blocks underneath your knees, or take your legs up your chair. You guys know what the options are. And it might feel nice, to, I know it's nice out, but you might feel nice to put a sweatshirt back on or cover up with a blanket. And then once you're settled in, Scan your body, checking for anything you might still be holding on to. Send your breath there and let that go. Relax your fingers, relax your toes.
Relax your jaw. Relax your temples. Lift your chest. So kind of scoot the shoulders underneath the, the chest. Keep the chest lifted. And then just let your entire body melt into the earth beneath you. Begin to awaken your body. Bring movement into your fingers and your toes. Keep in your breath. Put your arms overhead. Get a big stretch, maybe even yawn. And then carefully make your way over to one side. Stay there for a breath. And then you can come up to a comfortable seated position. Sit here for a few more breaths with your eyes closed and just notice how you feel. Remember we checked in a little earlier, we checked in for any constrictions, anything that was kind of going on in our body. See how you feel now. Maybe just feeling a little more open, maybe just a little stronger, a little lighter, maybe even happier, just more peaceful. Take your hands to your heart center and thank yourself for doing all this great work for you, for your body and your mind and your spirit as well. 
And I thank you for letting me guide you in your practice this morning. Thank you for being here. Namaste. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms of four-legged and two-legged creatures, right? Thanks, everyone. Have a good Mother's Day tomorrow. You can unmute if you'd like. Thank you, you Karen. Too. Thank you. Thank you. Happy Mother's Thank Day. Thank you, Karen. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. See you guys next week. I'm here. I'm not going anywhere for a while. Okay. Thanks. See you. Bye, everybody. Bye. I have a good holiday. Bye. Yes. Bye.